Okay, I'm going to play a four minute audio clip. The audio yeah. clip that I'm playing for you guys is, um, you know, I, I, I actually meant to play this on the prior episode. It infuriated me. Just the one sided enforcement of all of these things. A lot of you guys have seen the video of me getting maced on August 12th. When I was walking into Lee Park, some fucking asshole turns out his name's Mike Longo Jr. He lives in Philadelphia. Fucking sprays me out of goddamn nowhere. I have that guy's video, uh, the video of it. I matched his tats up with social media. We had this guy dead to fucking rights. I can't get nobody to do anything about it. What I'm about to play for you is a call I had with the Charlottesville Police Department about this exact incident. And uh, and once it's done playing, then we will come right back to the show. It's it's four minutes long, so if you want to do anything, uh, Johnny, uh, we'll be right back. Okay. All right. Good. Here, here we go. Hello. Uh, is this Mr. Cantwell? Yeah. Hey, this is Detective Herbert Halls with the Charlottesville City Police Department. How are you, sir? I'm I'm doing well, sir. How are you? I'm good. Hey, I just wanted to give you an update on your case. Um, so, I spoke with my supervision, who spoke with our Commonwealth attorney. I know that we're starting to come down to the wire here for um, you know the year mark. Um, there on the twelfth, um, yeah. so we got about ten days. So our Commonwealth Attorney's position on this, and this is, again, not coming from me, this is just relayed to me, kind of orders go down the chain. Our Commonwealth, position's attorney, or our Commonwealth Attorney's position on this is that um, they're only willing to charge this as a simple assault, okay? That's and fascinating. As, and as such, they have um, advised that I advise warrants on this case, um, since you have the information of the man who, uh, you know, allegedly assaulted you. Um, they told me to go ahead and advise warrants on it. I'm sorry, go ahead and advise warrants? Advise warrants, yes. So you were able to, with the information that you have, be able to go to the magistrate's office and seek warrants. Um, they also said, though, given that this is going to be charged as a simple assault and they're not willing to charge it as a felony or aren't wishing to charge it as a felony, um, that it's going to be non extraditable at this point. <laughs> so that's it. Yeah, that is the information that has been passed along to me. Okay, uh, I'm just I'm just relaying that to you, Mr. Campbell. I I understand the position that you're in, sir, and you you understand why I think that this is crazy, don't you? Well, I understand that you were charged with a felony and then um, just recently pleaded down to a to a uh, misdemeanor simple assault. Is that correct? Yeah, I did. Right. Well, and you know, I can't. If you have any questions about this, you know, I urge you to contact the Commonwealth Attorney's Office. Um, again, this is not so much a, a decision that I'm making, but this is something that we've been in collaboration with the Commonwealth Attorney on. Yeah. Um, and that's that's kind of their decision. Um, I mean, even if I were to go out and charge this as a felony, my understanding is that this will be dropped, but they think the appropriate charge <coughs> on this is will assault. It's fascinating. So, so, but I would have to come down to there and go see a magistrate in order to accomplish even this, right? You would have to see a magistrate, yes, sir. Um, yeah. And I understand that something about you have been barred for from Virginia, except yeah, it's, legal. Yeah, it's yeah, it's fascinating what they did too, because what they actually did, they changed it sort of at the last minute. It was supposed to be except for legal reasons, and then they said compulsory legal process. So I'd actually have to be subpoenaed to enter enter the Commonwealth, and this is I and I don't suspect that that's an accident. And so well, yeah, and I'm not going to say. I mean. Again, I'm just the one who was handed the folder. You know, I have looked yeah. at the documents. I've reviewed, uh, I've reviewed the video, the footage, and all that. I mean, no, no doubt about it. You were assaulted that day. Um, that's not yeah. up for debate. Yeah, um, I was, far, I was a completely unprovoked, targeted, and attacked with a with a weapon. And you know, and this guy, you know, I mean, we all know what's going on down there. I won't, I won't rake you over the coals about it, pal. I understand the position that you're in, but. You know, I'm. Uh, you imagine that I'm sort of dissatisfied with the response, right? Well, I I understand that this isn't the, isn't the response that you wanted. Um, yeah. My again, my suggestion to you would be to call over to the Commonwealth Attorney's Office. I'm sure that you can ask for Joe Platania. He's the one who my sergeant spoke with. Uh, if you have any questions, if you'd like to you know debate it with him, he's the person to go to. Yeah. Again, I'm just I'm just. I had to I, go up the chain with this, and this is the response that I got. And I wanted I, to let you know, because at this point you have around 10 days if you do want to take action on your end. I didn't want to I didn't want to put you, any, you know, in any more of a time crunch. Okay? All right. I, I, I appreciate it, sir. You have yourself a wonderful afternoon. 
All right, thanks, Mr. Chairman. All right, take care. And so that's what happens when uh, when we get mace completely unprovoked walking into a fucking park. Um, anyway, welcome back to the Radical Agenda. Um,